Welcome to the after show of the Man Made Me Tournament of 2020. Um, I have my friends Chris and Tony here, and we're going to be talking about maybe some of the things that surprised us with this tournament. Um, I definitely was very shocked with a couple things. I did not anticipate the pineapple habanero being the one to win it all. I was a little shocked. What did you yeah. guys think? And, and we'll talk about kind of our score sheet here in a second, and maybe some things... Um, like, let's first start with that. What did you rate in the, out of 70, the pineapple habanero, which is number 16? The very 16, final the very mean last. that you chose. Yeah, the very last one. The, the pineapple habanero? Yeah. I actually didn't. Uh, yeah. mine, but. I, so if I have it guessed correctly, which I think I did, was we... Yeah, I do. I, I guessed it correctly originally. What did you I, give, I give it out of 50, 70? I go to 53 out of 70. Okay, what did you give out of the, uh, 70, Chris? Out of 70, 58. I gave it a 60 out of 70, which was not my top score. I believe my top score was a 65. Um, I don't know what you guys have for your um, top I think score. I, I think a 63 was maybe the highest. 60, I, gave. I think um, 66. So what? Let's take. Let's good. find what was your top rated. Let's, that'll be interesting. So and you are. And I, I will mention this. Um, the reason we have these score sheets is because we before we did the tournament we taste tested everything to see. Uh, to give a greater rating, and I'll have a video specifically about those, the ratings that we gave, but um, what did you guys rate? So, I didn't give very many things over 60. Um, yeah, they were. They I were did give, I think it looks like the highest I gave was a 66. Wow. Mm -hmm. and Which one was that? It was what I thought was, well, it was me number nine. Me number nine was the Orange Blossom Traditional. That, that's what I have. That's how I checked that. Okay. One. So I guess that was right. Yeah. But yeah. Um, where is that? On the... Uh, me number nine ended up... Is it somewhere on that side? Look over there. Uh... Where is nine? Did you lost? Six. Here? No, there's, we one. lost a one up there. Okay. Well, at any rate, um, yeah, that's what I gave it. That's what I gave the highest. I it didn't... was... Yeah. It was super rich, like really full... Um, like a good sweet start. It was very complex. Um, I liked it. That's interesting because I gave the Orange Blossom traditional. Um, I thought story. it was me number three though. What? Oh my! I gave the top rated score to the meat tournament from uh, 2018. Though I thought that was the apple cinnamon. The same, I thought number three, this is a different one, not yours, but number three, I thought that was the orange blossom traditional, when in reality, it was oh, the see. apple and cinnamon from two and a half years ago. Okay. Mm. What did you think was the top, Chris? Top for me was the meat number 14, which I thought was the cherry meat. I, um, I really enjoyed it. It was. It was okay. just the straight up cherry meat. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed yep. that one a lot. That one stuck out to me quite a bit. Yeah, uh, I liked the color, the overall evenness of the flavor. The yeah, flavor profile is very. Here, nice. I'll go through. Go from go from the beginning. Can I do this? Yeah, go from the beginning. I'll, I'll say it. Here, I'll say it. I'll I'll go from the top. Okay. We'll just, All right. So mead number one was the white chocolate cherry mead. That's what I gave it. White chocolate cherry, yeah. Chris. Uh. Yep. Yeah. yeah, white chocolate. Okay. Mead number two was the. Um, gotta find it. Mango okay. mead. Yeah, I gave it the I gave it the orange mead, the Joe's ancient orange. Joe's ancient orange, yeah. Yeah, it's very. I, I I like the mango mead. I gotta revamp it a little bit before I can make it into what I want. I liked it. I liked it. That's good. good. It's just. I gave it a fifty three yeah. out of seventy. I thought that yeah. was a good score. Yeah, fifty five. Number three was the apple and cinnamon mead. Oh, I really oh yeah, I really got that one wrong. I gave <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I put clover. Put down the same we both are saying clover. That's weird because I feel like the. It's an apple and cinnamon, so like that spice well, yeah. would hopefully pop more. It's like a faint. It's it, faint to me. Clover is spicy. Yeah. Um, Can be. Number four. I of course, it. is the peppermint mead. I go to 48. 48? <laughs> <laughs> I still thought I was being a little I, I gave it a 53. What would you give the peppermint mead? Uh, I gave it a 59. Wow, okay. So I, was, I was a little more generous than that one. Yeah, I... I liked it. I liked um, it a lot. I, I like it. Um, let's go to meet number five. Five? I, what'd you guys think it was? Uh, I tell you. The basic bouche. Basic bouche. Yep. I actually thought for the, some reason this was the raspberry bouche. 
Hmm. And I think in hindsight, I realized that later on, but I didn't go want, want to go change it. I was just like, hey. how far did that, how far did that get? The kind of eliminated the first. Yeah, round. I was yeah. down the first round. <laughs> but I gave it a sixty-three. Seven. I gave it a good score. That's Seven. interesting. Fifty. That it didn't make it that far. Some of them. And that's what I mean. Is like that sixteen. I I don't know. I can't remember what how many points I gave it. But I don't think I gave it the max. It wasn't the max. So no. Uh, let's go. Was that me number five? Me number six is the watermelon mead. Oh. Oh, weird. I had that really wrong. Uh, I, I said that was the mixed berry. I said it was a raspberry. Okay. Yeah. What did you guys so give it number wise? Uh, I gave it a forty-three out of seventy. I, I give it a fifty-seven. Okay. I gave it forty-nine. That's very different. Yeah, yeah very different scores. I didn't. I was very. I was really confused. Well, yeah, and and th- you know, this is why scores are very. Um, Subjective, you know, right? It's like it really depends on the person who's tasting the stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, meat number seven. What did you think it was? <laughs> I got these. I, I gave this. I thought it was an berry. I I thought this one was the raspberry boche. I got these totally backwards. I got my basic boche as the raspberry boche, ah, and my raspberry okay. boche as the basic mm-hmm. boche. Yeah, I thought this was the basic boche. It's the raspberry. This one, okay. Raspberry got boche. It. Yes, got mm-hmm. this one right. Meat number eight. The, the pear mead, right? Yeah, I, I have pear yep. here. This is a pear. Pear mead. That was easy. Number nine. What do you think this one was? Ooh, I got this one wrong. Uh, is this the orange blossom tradition? Uh, that's what I have. But, well, that doesn't make any sense because I'd already... Oh, never mind. It is, though. It is? It is the oh, orange oh, blossom that's, tradition. That's correct. I got it. Okay. I don't, I, don't what, I don't know what I thought I did, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I put like the clover tradition traditional. Mm. This is painting out for me to not and, know and anything this... about my own meat making experience. <laughs> I gave this a 66. Um, I gave this a 66. I I gave it a... <laughs> Dang. Wait, are we on 9? Is that yeah. 9? Okay, I was going to say, I gave it a really low. I gave it a... This is my highest scoring one. Really? Yep. yep. I gave it a 40. I did not 40? like it as much. Really? Or, for some reason. I was not a big fan of this one. And it, where is it? Number nine. And it's somehow it's not on the board. Number. I will grab it off this. I don't remember where. It must be in one of those two slots. All right, we're going to talk about this number nine because um, we find it really interesting. I gave it a 40. Tony gave it a 66. I gave it a 50. Um, and he, Tony thought it was the orange blossom. Chris thought it was orange blossom. Um, and I was very wrong because it was the orange blossom. I thought it was a clover. Why? What are you thinking about this one? So nice color. Um, I gave it a nine on color. Light gold, uh, slightly hazy. I think Do you like the slight haze? Yeah, I don't mind that. I think I think um, you know it's unfiltered. It's unfine. Mm-hmm. It's it's adds to the character. Yeah, um, it gives it, it gives it like a fuller body, or it can imply a little bit fuller body. Um, strong honey character. Creamy, it was floral, had a nice sweet start, it was complex, balanced all the way through, uh, it was dry on the, on the finish and clean. Um, obviously the honey character, that's what it's showcasing, was on point, has this nice, oily, rich, full body. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, yeah, I found this very enjoyable. I, I definitely, I, mean, I don't remember what I was thinking exactly what I, what I said. I said, not super clear. I don't know why I thought clarity. I don't normally think clarity is the end of the world. I don't know why I would have broken down. I said, not a rabid flavor. I said, weird, bitey finish, which. Mm. See, I think it's very rounded. And it's pretty soft. Yeah. I definitely get it more. It still has a. Um, Maybe a more medicinal, like you were saying earlier, taste to it. I think it's very pure, pure. I think it's got the good honey character. Pure good honey. honey. Well, I didn't think it was bad by any set, by any means, but like I just also, I don't know. Obviously, didn't think it was the most amazing thing. What do you think, Chris? Um, <clears throat> it wasn't my favorite, but I did, I did kind of enjoy how consistent the flavor was throughout. Mm-hmm. I think age is all. This thing, or um, is. One of my first four meads. Oh, so wow. it's two wow. and a half years old. So it's, wow. Yeah. And it's, it's uh, again, 14%. It's... Yeah. <laughs> Woo. yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Number 10. We're going to move on. Oh. Um, number 10. What do you think it was? I thought it was a watermelon mead. Wow. Um, I said 10 was... I got these backwards. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I thought... 
This was the orange blossom traditional. I thought the orange blossom was the clover traditional. Wait, okay. which one is this one? This I is this was the, the ancient. This is the clo uh, clover traditional. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. I really got that wrong. Yeah, I was really confident in the watermelon too. Yeah. I was one slot off, but what number was the watermelon? Over there, it's number um, six. It didn't make it out of first bracket. Oh, <laughs> weird. Okay. But number ten, oh, it didn't make it out of first bracket either. This is it right here. So. What did I score the watermelon? Um, I gave it. I thought it was the raspberry. Yeah. I still scored it well. I gave it a fifty-seven and a seventy. Yeah. I didn't give. I didn't give this one a, a very high rating. I gave the uh, number 10 a 27 out of 70. Oh. What? Oh, wow. I, I was not happy about it. Okay. That was That's interesting. Strange. Um, okay, number 11. What do you think it was? I thought it was apple pie moche. I, yes, it was the apple pie moche. I thought it was the chocolate vanilla moche. <laughs> I thought it was the apple the cinnamon meme. What the heck? Mm. Man, my pal. Um, yeah, I, uh, I give this one a 50 out of 70. I give it a 60. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's 60 nice. as well. So, but I gave it, I give, so, the difference is I gave it an 8 on color. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I gave it 13 on the nose. Um, you gave it 15. I yeah, it, I'd like to point off of the, uh, the finish. I didn't quite like the, I give it a, a ten out of ten on the finish. It was it was a little bit. Of... I didn't give perfect scores on hardly anything. I yeah I didn't. I think I gave one. I think I like the body of it. Or I don't know. That's true. That was I actually it was slightly thin for me. I only gave it a seven. Let's get to number twelve. This was the mixed berry mead. I think at least. Yep, mixed berry mead. Okay. What did you guys think? Oh, cherry. Cherry. I had said it. This was, was what was the runner up. By the way, what'd you give the runner up in points? Uh, run it up. I get 55 points. 55? What'd you get? Uh, 63. 63, yeah. So, I mean, that one still got some high ratings. I really, I, I really, really like that. I, I thought it was really, obviously it made it really far. It made it as yeah. a runner up, which is, it's not on the board right now. I think that's one thing we took off, too. Oh, man. Okay. It's okay. Um, 13. I got so many of these backwards, and I'm so <laughs> mad at myself. I thought the chocolate vanilla boche was the apple pie boche. This is and the, the apple pie boche was the vanilla. Yes, this is the vanilla chocolate and vanilla mm. boche. Uh, this one is probably your highest. One of my favorites. Really? Of all of them. Yeah. Really? I gave it a 65 out of 70. Wow. Interesting. This is my. I will add. This is my original chocolate and vanilla boche. I have made a secondary one. This was the one from about a year ago. So this has had some age on it. It's had some help. I, I mean, I didn't give it that high rating though. I gave it forty nine. I oh wow. I I rated it kind of low. Yeah. Too. That's I was mostly. Uh, part of this is the taste, like your personal taste and what you like. Yeah. So. Uh, fourteen. We're at the last couple. Um, what do you think it was? So I think this was my this lowest was rated one. Really? This was my highest rated one. Actually. And I and I thought it was the cherry mead. It is the cherry meat, yes. Okay. I didn't check it on here, but I remember, because I have the notes yeah, yeah. here, that, that's what I thought it's it was. It's the cherry meat. It was, I thought it was a white chocolate cherry. This is what I mean. I got confused earlier. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Even in the board during the, while we were playing, um, I thought that was the white chocolate cherry, and it was it was flipped. It's just the cherry. So I gave it a 59 out of 70. I thought it was good. Um, I said not a consistent honey character, because I didn't feel like it was... No, it, and, and it was the finish was short. It was pretty thin. It didn't have a lot going on. Mm -hmm. um, it was just like this nice... It was, it was a nice bright red color, but it wasn't... like There wasn't anything necessarily um, interesting about it all the yeah. way through. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't bad. I, it's interesting. How far did it make it? It was... You, got, got you guys far. liked it more than I, I liked it. Yeah, this was my highest rated... Where I wish we okay it, it yeah, came out of it, it got to right. semis yeah. but it didn't make it out of semis, um, which is fine. It's which interesting. which it was up against number thirteen, which yeah. was one of my highest rated. Which was uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 yeah. It was the other. Uh, yeah I yeah I really like this. I don't know if you guys are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to number fifteen. Number fifteen. Um, what did you think it was? Um, I thought it was the mango, which is obviously not right, because we, we thought it was a mango earlier. Was it the watermelon? Mm -hmm. It's 
Joe's Ancient Orange. Oh, okay. I said this one was a watermelon. Yeah. So I gave this one pretty high marks. 57. Ooh, 37. I yeah, not it, great. I gave I it 56. It. I thought it was pretty smooth. I liked it. Um, it w It's aged better. It's um, definitely really spicy. I think when I made it, I made it pretty hot on the spices. I think that's what really threw me off of this one. Really What'd you say? 57. Is it just agent? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Last one, and it's funny that the this one won the <laughs> entire tournament. But number sixteen, which I didn't tally up. Let me. I gotta think for a second. And this actually was my highest rated. I think I lied earlier. Mm -hmm. I gotta do some tallying. Three, four, two. Uh, six. No, this was not my highest rated. I gave this one a sixty out of seventy. That's still pretty good. Yeah. This was. I gave it a fifty-three. Did you guys think yeah. it was pineapple? Yeah. It was yeah. We, pineapple we habanero. It's pretty unanimous. It, it very clear. I think the habanero really. Well, and I I think I'm actually not like uh, going through this. I'm not that surprised that it won, considering how we all gave yeah. it like pretty solid scores. Yeah. Um, consistently mm -hmm. across the board. across the board. I I was thinking that this. We might not end up like that. Well, like we would have rated something higher. Obviously, we have some ratings that are higher than each other's, mm. but for us to have a pretty consistently high rating for all this one um, is clear that that one's pretty good. I, I did not anticipate this one to win. If I was being very honest with you, I, I thought just on guessing alone that the the apple cinnamon mead with some age was going to be really good from two and a half years ago. I thought that one could have won. I was um, and I was very hopeful for like the orange blossom traditional. Me too. So that was the one that I really, really I scored the highest. Yeah. And then I actually thought the chocolate and vanilla bullshit was actually. I actually thought that was gonna. Work. Oh, which I'm very pleased with. I'm glad that 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 one's turned out pretty good because it it uh, age has definitely helped that. I think the biggest factor with mead making is that you just have to have some age to help it. You know. Yeah. Mellow out and, and wine too, like. How do you do? You let it set in a, in a barrel for a and long every, time. And every, you know, all these products are different. Like some wines are meant to be drunk young. Yeah. Some some of these reeds may be meant to be drunk young. Yeah, um, and uh, the, the unique thing about all these is they're not all really sweet. I think most commercial meads, if you go try some, are pretty sweet. Oh yeah, Chaucer's um, comes to mind. More yeah. Sweetness. And it's it just, I think that the idea of sweetness sells is like a big thing for mead making, and I I like that. I'm hoping to get away from that and have the the honey character cells. Even the not, even the meads that are like relatively sweet in this, they're not that sweet. No. Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. There's nothing that's so in your face that it hurts. So no, you could still drink a fair amount of yeah. your sweetest mead um, and not feel like you're weighed down. Yeah. Or anything. Yeah. This has been. I, I'm definitely shocked. I did not. I knew I liked the pineapple habanero, but I did not think it'd be the mead tournament winner. And when I was picking my meads, of course, I tried to pick the things that I hoped would be the best. That I've made, um, and I think I came out with you know picking the top sixteen. I've made a bunch of garbage meads, stuff that doesn't work, <laughs> quite frankly. And uh, not that the pineapple pineapple habanero was one that I didn't think would work. I thought it was more niche for sure because not everybody likes hot drinks, especially. Yeah. 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 So um, that's interesting for for this to come out, and I did like doing this too, like having the rating system. Um, I'll be doing a, a more in-depth video on each specific mead and tallying up the results of uh, all of our scores combined in, in each category so that you can see what actually happened in that regard. But, um, you know, uh, you guys have any final thoughts for, for this whole experience? Is there anything you would do different or mm -hmm. anything that you really uh, liked about it? Um... I would maybe not have uh, wanted to even know what my really? options were. They're just, yeah. Yeah, um, and not even really worry about this. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, this this was good. I mean, I, I got, I think I got actually a lot of them mm -hmm. correct. I, I think I, I think missed, you got more correct than me. <laughs> I think I, I missed a few. I know I missed a few, yeah. but um, <clears throat> that, I think... Then you don't have any bias. You can't like look at this and go like, mm -hmm. "Oh, I'm tasting these things." Yeah. Which I don't think I, I don't, I personally don't think I did that very much, but um, you know, I don't know. Um, yeah. And then and then maybe, I don't know. Do bigger. Oh yeah, I would like. I would love to do bigger in the future. I'll maybe talk about doing um, not my meads, but other people's meads. So we'll see about that. That'll take some more planning, but. 
Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys for uh, watching. If you, uh, of course, this is the after show. So if you're watching this and you haven't seen the tournament, then you should probably go watch that. There's, of course, the video of me talking about all of our scores and various things, too. But um, this has been a ton of fun, and I plan to do this again in the future, not only with my, other, my own meets, but maybe some other people's meets, if I can figure out how to do that. So um, I'll see you guys next time. If you want to support the channel, go check out those links down below, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.